we got a part two of what we talked about. I talked about last week. We talked about getting everybody into action. I know there's a lot of people not on this call tonight because they didn't want to be called on the carpet. So with that being said, uh, no disrespect. I mean, this is your business. You signed up as an IBO, not as a TBO, which would be an independent business owner versus a team business owner, right? So we all in this by ourselves. So it's up to us. Want more, you got to do more. Just can't complain about not having more when you're not doing anything, no, right? So, all right. So this was, remember, we talked about putting this together, right? So this is mine. So I said I'd be the first one. There you go. There you go. There you go. So, and I didn't get everything on there. Everyone holding it up. Who else had it? Who else? Anybody else? Look at them all out there. Sweet. That's awesome, guys. That's awesome. There's a lot to this. There's more to this than a lot of people realize, okay? This here, we can hold each other accountable. And for those who aren't on a call, we can hold them accountable. But here's the thing. If having this on here and doing something like this or the need, see, some people might need that person. Like I might, you know what? I need somebody to be on my butt to, to move me. Sam, would you be, would you like to, you know, and look, Sam's shaking his head yes. So we would do that back and forth. Okay, how'd you do this? But we'd probably do it more than once a week. Maybe hit it up on a Sunday and a Wednesday. Right, how you been past couple of days, Sam? Where, where's your weak points, where's your strong points and support each other. See, if you find a good team like that, we don't, we're not even living in the same cities. He's not at my mall, I'm not at his, right? But we can still do that with each other. So here's Monday. So I'm in a, uh, a group and it's not a lead group. <clears throat> it's, a, it's a group of, of kind of like LinkedIn. Okay, I'm on LinkedIn too. So I do a little stuff on LinkedIn, but I don't put it in here because I'm just kind of fishing over there. I'm not doing anything directly. I'm just fishing. All right. So on Monday, I, did, uh, I, I get 15 names a day from this group, right? You can pay to get more, but I, this, this, look, this is as simple as you can get it for free. So out of 15 names, I usually get two or three people I can reach out to that we actually match, right? So on Monday, I did my 15. Uh, <clears throat> I went out, we actually uh, have business cards and we can leave them on cars or we can actually give them to somebody, right? Hey, you're a sharp person. Check this out. We got a video link to it, right? That's something that we do, right? So people, uh, people can get on there and see that. So I, I did uh, some, uh, some of that. Um, I did my three, my, I had two reach outs on Monday and, uh, with power hour, I put, uh, sent messages to 13 people. Okay. And what I did with those 13 people, what we've designed is something is to ask them about, uh, being a customer with ID seal. Can you try my service out? And we're working on them. So I got, and on top of that is, can you also post this on your wall? right? Your Facebook or send it to people you might know that need it. So I had out of 13, I had five get back to me and said, no problem. Send me something. I'll look at the video and I'll send it to them. So it was a little bit bigger than just 13, right? Cause like now I got a relay station going Wednesday. I got my 15 names and numbers, uh, on Tuesday and the same thing all week hitting somebody every day, hitting somebody every day. And, uh, I get my 15 names and numbers. And then Sunday was church. So that's my week. So I can put a line underneath that and start again tomorrow for Monday. Okay. And that's out. But if you guys don't have somebody to be accountable for, you got Mr. Thomas and it could be just as much as a text. It doesn't have to be a phone call. Your upline. If you got a buddy in the business, it's a sideline. He might even be a, 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 a downline, but you can still get with people and do that. Do you guys understand that? <clears throat> this is a DMO. That's all that is. DMO will actually put points to see how many points you're getting a day. So do it again for next week. So this will start creating a habit. We do this, we do this two more weekends, right? Even though if I'm on or not, if you do it two more weekends and show whoever's doing the training that, hey, I did my, I got my sheet right here. Do you know that'll be over 21 days? 
and you need 21 days to set a habit, new habit. And it's all for your business. So I want to say, you guys who brought your paper this week, congratulations. Those who don't have their paper, but you did do it, congratulations. Set up that habit and get going. Now, with that being said, we're going to kind of go over a little something. We got a little special going on tonight. So we were going to talk, let other people talk tonight about what they did this week. But I think you guys get the, 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 the gist of it. So with that being said, we kind of got a little thing we're going to talk about now that uh, should help with what we've been talking about, business aspect mindset the body and, and, and it's always good is it right is it good especially with the with the stuff that's going around nowadays is it good to be healthy what happens when you're not healthy it actually not being healthy these days could cost you your life so it's important to eat right get off the 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 weird foods and all that stuff that they're making everything nowadays you can't just go get cow meat anymore so but with that being said we're going to start with uh, um uh, let me get here our paper here. Okay. So, oh, you want to start? Yeah. Let's All right. So, so I'm she's share my she's chomping at the bit right now. She's no. kicking me under the table. I'm gonna share. I'm gonna share the screen real quick so we can go through the PowerPoint. There's just a few things, not too many slides, um, because we kind of did a last minute. But what we're gonna talk about, we're gonna keep it basic. We're gonna go back to the basics because that's our business is very basic and simple, right? Can you see my screen, guys? Every see my screen. Okay, good. Okay, so this is what we're gonna talk about. Okay, so our body, right? So the abs is your why. Okay, so let's break it out that way. So your abs is your why. We're gonna talk about the importance of each. Your head is the mindset. Okay, your <laughs> upper body would be like customer acquisition. Your lower body would be like team building or peaking, you know, um, and then your feet are events. So we're going to go through each one and go a little bit more in depth on each part of it and the importance. Okay, so let's start off with your why. So your abs. So your your the abs, which is your why. So here's. Sorry, I took my shirt off, guys. I apologize up front. <laughs> so, so did you know the importance? Let me tell you a few things why it's important for strong abs. Okay, number one, a strong core improves sports performance. Did you know that you're going to perform a lot better in sports if you have a strong core? The second reason why it's important to have strong abs is it um, prevents lower back pain. I had been in a car accident and I had to go through physical therapy. Uh, physical therapy. One of the things they started working me out was my back and as well as my abs because they knew I started having back problems, lower back problems. And they, in order to strengthen the back problems, I had to build my abs. Okay. Another reason why you want strong abs is because you want to improve your posture. Anybody see people that do this as you get older, like they, they slunch down and so forth and, it, and their spine gets crooked. It's because they don't have a strong, they don't have strong abs. Well, another thing is you'll actually breathe better with a strong core, okay? So do you see the importance of having a strong ab in your body? Well, guess what? In this business, that is your why. You have to have such a powerful why because of you see how important it is to have a strong core. In fact, I'm gonna share, we're gonna talk to somebody. Um, so we're gonna unmute Mrs. Luann Pinedo because she has, I'm gonna, um, we're gonna hear her when she was going out there and she was sharing her why. And it was, when I heard it, I mean, it was like, no wonder why she was getting so many customers. Because the thing is, is we always say that, you know, if your why doesn't make you cry, you know, that type of thing. But listen to her, listen to her why, listen to what she was telling people. And then she's going to kind of give you an idea of how many customers during that time span that she was using this why that she went out and got because of saying this. So Mrs. Luann Pinedo, can you share um, just in a nutshell, that's your, your why that you were sharing with people when you were out there getting your customers? Okay. Um, well, um, I'm Luann and i um, my why was my mom. Um, my mom was my hero and she was diagnosed with uh, Alzheimer's and, uh, in 2017. And um, that, was, um, that was a big shock for the family because uh, my mom was really strong. And, um, but unfortunately she didn't uh, plan her finances very well. So she didn't have a lot of money 
So we didn't know what we were going to do as far as whether we were going to be able to provide, put her in a good place. Like a, it, it, when she progressed, if she were going to be able to put her in a good nursing home. So that's when I really started crunching it and, and working and getting my customers and um, choose my reason why. And um, I'd do anything for my mom because she would do anything for me. She was the one who used to take me back when I was out doing my thing. I was a prodigal daughter and she brought me back home. So when somebody loves you that much, you do anything for them. And there's people out there that you do anything for and you don't know what's gonna happen in life. So you gotta work your butt off now because you don't know what's gonna happen. Um, so you gotta be ready at whatever time in life. And so um, there was a couple months that I hit, um, they were having a, um, if you got 10 gas customers, you got $200, if you got um, 20, you got 300. I think one month I missed um, the 30, uh, the, the 20 by one customer. And that's why it's so important to like overkill. You know, the importance of that is so important. Like always get extra customers. Uh, I always tell them like, my view is that, you know, always get a look extra customer because you just don't know. So always, always. Uh, so my mom lived with me uh, the last couple of months of her life. And um, I always think, you know, if I had a bigger house, if I'd have worked a little harder, if I could have uh, brought somebody in that could have taken better care of her, if she'd been around a little bit longer. And you always think that, you know? So you don't know what's gonna happen with you. Like with me, I, I got cancer and I couldn't work for a while. And I had to retire because of my dystonia because I couldn't talk for months and um, had to retire early. So I didn't get a full, big old, you know, retirement like I would have liked. So you just don't know what's going to happen in your life, you know, and, and people around you don't know. So they think they have it all figured out. They don't. And uh, so we got to be there for them when they think they have it all figured out, but they don't. Um, and my mom, her, one of her caregivers, um, the daughter's husband got shot, uh, accidentally by one of those drive-by people and, um, they didn't have any insurance and shame on them because that poor lady had to pull out her savings and bury that poor young man and that was her retirement and now there goes her retirement she'll be working till who knows when and these young people uh, you know they need to take care of themselves they need to make sure that something happens to them that they can you know bury themselves that they take care of their debts. They, they need to make sure of that. And this is what I'm realizing with all these things that are happening with COVID and all that, people passing on. So my mama was my, my wife. She was my strong wife. I don't do anything for her. And I did, I pushed myself. And uh, it just showed me that there's a lot of people out there that you don't know what's gonna happen in life. 
and they need they need to hear they need something because they don't know what they're going to do so that's all i gotta say about that do you know do you know how many about how many customers you got during that time because i know you one month you got like the 200 i think one one month i got about 30 customers <laughs> One month I got 30, another month I got 20. So yeah, I was on a roll. Yep, yep, yep. Do you see though, guys, can you see how a powerful why can make a difference? And, and you know what, guess what? She got people even sharing from her heart and she would get emotional and cry. She got people that still told her no. You're still gonna get people that tell you no, even when you put your heart out there. So it's be okay with that because it's gonna happen. Okay, so let me share my screen again and then go back to the PowerPoint here. So that's, that's a strong, this right there is a strong why, right? So the next thing let's talk about is your head, which is your mindset, okay? So we all know that, right? I think we have a lot of seasoned people on here that understand the importance of personal growth, reading the books, watching the video, plugging into the, this, these uh, 9 a.m. calls, the Sunday night, calls a Saturday, the happy hour, all these events, right? So let me, and we're going to share a quick video. Let me stop sharing and then share again and share a video with you guys that kind of explains this as well. So let me share my screen again. Okay, can you guys see my screen? Okay, good. You are about to hear a strange but true story. Legend has it, Harry Houdini, the master magician, once claimed that he could break out of any jail cell in the world. All he had to do was walk into that jail cell with his street clothes on. I'll be out of there in one hour, no problem, he said. Well, a very old jail down south heard about Houdini's claims and they accepted his challenge. On the day of the event, many people gathered outside. Very confidently, Houdini walked right into the jail and into the cell and they shut the metal doors behind him. The first thing Houdini did was he took off his coat. Then, very strangely, he took off his belt. Secretly hidden in Houdini's belt was a 10-inch piece of steel, very tough and very flexible, and Houdini started working. In about 30 minutes, that confident expression Houdini had when he walked in disappeared. In one hour, he was bathed in sweat. And at the end of two hours, Houdini in defeat collapsed against the door, which then opened. It opened because you see, that door had never been locked. But that's not entirely true, is it? That door was locked. It was firmly and thoroughly locked in Houdini's mind, which meant it was locked as if the best locksmith in the world had put his lock on it. The mind is powerful. How many doors in your life do you think are locked but aren't? How many times have you been stuck in the mental prison of overthinking something that really had a simple solution? There is an ancient African proverb that says, when there is no enemy within, the enemy outside can do us no harm. Your mind is the most powerful force you will ever face. It will tell you lies. It will tell you, you can't do that. You're not meant for that. You're not good enough for that. You can't go on anymore. You don't have the energy. You must thank it for its opinion and carry on, because like Houdini showed us, the only locked doors that exist are in your own mind. 
the doors and the reality are open. And all you have to do is walk through. guys so that's pretty powerful i will share um let me share the screen again here but i will share a story with you i'm actually oh hold on did i share screen no i didn't okay hold on real quick share screen and then powerpoint okay i think you guys can see this right powerpoint okay so um so i'm actually talking to this one gal i've been talking to her for several months she was actually referred over by another independent business owner well, this person is not as active as they, um, they're, they're in the business, but they're not very active. So guess what? I've been working with this girl. Her mindset is not right. She doesn't believe in herself. She's a single mother with three kids going through a divorce, literally working every day, 12 hours a day, um, barely making it. She owes, she's so in debt. I mean, she has, you know, all this debt with the IRS, like just a lot is going on in her life. And I, I've talked to her, I've got to know her and, I, and I, I feel her pain and I've already know what she wants to do. I found out that she would like to just be free to be able to take her kids to an amusement park. And her ultimate goal is to take her kids to every single amusement park in the United States. To be able to just do that for her would be a dream come true so she can spend time with her kids. And so, and, and I asked her that when I found this out, I said, let me ask you this. I said, doing what you're doing right now, how, when can you ever do that? She said, never. I'm never going to be able to do that. I said, all right, well, now we found your way. So what I'm doing with her, because she's the money's the issue for her is guess what? Every so many days I'm sending her mindset videos on YouTube. I'm sending me these positive quotes, less Brown, you know, anywhere I can get some positive quote. I've been sending her different um, videos to, you know, two minutes, three minutes, five minutes. And I'm telling her right now, we got to get your mind right, girl. So that's on my, been my focus. In fact, I even told her, I don't even want you to get busy and start in the business until you attend a Saturday training. Now, not to say you do that with everybody, although I will tell you, we have had people in our business, got started, quit, never attended a Saturday training, never attended. To me, I would have rather them go to a Saturday training, get started, right? Because I know they would have lasted a lot longer for sure. Okay. So with her, I know she needs her mind right. So I got her to a Saturday training. I, I got her, guess what? I signed up her services already. So it doesn't, you know what I mean? She's not even in the business, but guess what? I'm getting her in motion, even though she hasn't even started. Okay. And she's already, like I said, her mind is, we got to get people's minds right sometimes, right? Can we agree? Okay. So the next thing we have to, we're going to talk about is the upper body, which is customer acquisition. You guys heard the power already of a powerful core, which is your story, right? You already heard that and how a huge why can have an impact to how you can grow your business. Now, if it's hard, because I know it's humbling, right? Can you agree? You have to humble yourself. You've got to ask for help. You've got to, you know, let people know the ugly truth sometimes, the ugly, ugly truth, whatever is personally going on in your life. And sometimes we don't want to share that. Then if that's difficult for you today, maybe make it about like I did, project feeding kids, Okay. You know, we know 17, you know, there's 17 million hungry kids, right? Did you know that ACN has fed already 2 million kids through this project with the partnership with Project Feeding America, right? So we understand that. So you guys were like two weeks ago or so, the script that I sent out to people, right? You guys should have seen that. If you haven't, I would recommend you go back to the YouTube channel and watch that one with the script of what I said to people. And so I've been still following up. We got an eight pointer. We have somebody calling, we're calling two people we're following up with that it looks like they are going to be a customer, but it's just going to be the following up. One thing I've learned through this, we just are trying it out, is um, another idea is to, to extend them a minute video about project feeding kits. I don't know if you guys know, there's like a minute video that kind of is pretty powerful that you can send somebody as well. I'm going to start sending that to people as well. Okay, because guess what? When you hear the stories, because stories are powerful, can we agree? Well, that's gonna, and I'm gonna play that just real quick. It's only a minute. So let me do this real quick. And I'm gonna play the video so you kind of see which video I'm talking about so you guys can access this yourself if you want to. And while she's getting that video up, guys, another thing too, one of the guys that I'm in contact with is being sensitive when they're not getting back to you on text messages and everything else. 
because he finally got back to me and I found out that his grandmother had just passed away. He's, it's, he's a tax guy, so it's tax season, number one. Number two, that he's opening up a bar and they're opening up a grand opening here in about a week. And then his grandmother just passed away. So be cognizant because I've been wanting to see, you know, at times we want to say something. Hey, look, you can do what you said you did or not, but just know that sometimes things come because we don't get a lot of information. So just be cognizant of that. So, okay, so let's do this. How do I get out of this right now? Um, get that oh, there it is, guys. Okay, so here's the, here's the video. And then here it is right here. It's only a minute long. So I'm gonna play this real quick so you guys have an idea what it says. Even though you're working, you always come up short. There was several times where I'd be choosing between some bills and some food. The food pantry is a blessing for me. The food pantries have been a huge blessing. The impact that you make means the world. Thank you to the bottom of my heart. I just like to say thank God for you. Thank you. It's special that you're doing something for other people. Thank you. You're helping a lot of families. Thank you very much for feeding us. It helped us get through that one year so that I could take the next step. I don't think thank you is enough. It gave us more than food. It gave us hope. That is my hope for my future that I can want to one day give back. To all the people that make it possible, I just want to say thank you. I will get them a present because they're so awesome and have a happy life to them. All right. So see how simple that is? You guys can send that as well to people right there as well with the assumption because they're already thinking with the assumption they're going to be a customer, right? And that's pretty powerful, okay? So let me share again. So that's something you can also send to your potential with the with the Project Feeding Kids with that script that I had said a couple weeks ago. All right. So that's customer acquisition. Do you have anything to add there? Uh, no, and it, it's one thing too, is you never know if someone's going to be your customer unless you ask. Right. Get out of your head, right? Well, they'll say no, they got that. No, it, it doesn't matter. Just ask. You're asking for the favor. Look what Miss Luann did. She got her why involved, and look what happened. One one thing I will say to add, because I have asked people to share it on their Facebook and tag me on it, and they haven't always. So what I'm going to do is go back and use that script I said before, and I I taught on this is to say this: We are expanding our referral business and find it helpful to partner with our friends. Would you mind taking a quick few minutes and provide me with a few people who this might be able to help? I explained the philosophy of these key words, but I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm asking now for the, the, the people. I'm not gonna rely on them to send the video, put me put it on their Facebook. I want names, I want contacts, right? And then the key is gonna be about follow up and follow through. And that's what we're still doing right now with people, okay? So the lower body, team building, your peak, Okay, so one thing that Chris said, I thought was pretty awesome, because you know, I don't know if you've ever run into people where they know what you're doing. Um, and we do that all the time. And then they'll ask, well, how's business going? Or how are things going with you? Right? And what did you say to say? And I was like, Oh, I like uh, that. No, it's just like, you wouldn't even believe me if I told you. You know what I mean? So something like that, and then turn it around and make it about them, right? Because what are they thinking? Wow, what do you mean? What do you mean you wouldn't believe? Well, I don't, that's pretty crazy. Like, I'm curious now, right? So, that's something you can say to people that have already seen the business and they turn around and ask you, Well, how's business going for you? There you go, right? And then that's it. Take so, it away. Yeah. so, I refuse to talk about the business. I always put it back on them. Yep. We'll, th we'll talk about that another time. How are you doing? What's been going on? And if they keep it up, I said, You know, let's, what's a good time to go sit down and have coffee? I'll make an appointment right there. So, what about new people? cold market, right? Well, here's the thing is if you're forming them, right? Form them. But here's, I love what Mr. Thomas and when, when he went out with Mr. Thomas all those years ago, I think it's still perfect and it's simple. What did he say? What, what do you do? Well, you know that cell phone right there? I teach people like yourself how to get paid every time it goes ring. How simple is that? Because guess what you're going to find out? Either somebody's going to say, well, how does that work? Right? Or they're going to be like, Oh, well, okay, whatever, change, right? They don't even care. 
So then, you know, guess what? They're probably not interested in the business. What I would probably do is start talking about Project Feeding Kids. Hey, I'm working with an organization that helps to combat child hunger. Would you be interested in helping me? No out of pocket at all. Well, yeah, how do I do that? Let's exchange numbers, right? So now I've kind of already classified them. Okay, you know, and I can still turn around and talk to them about the business when I get to know them more, right? You can always go back and do that. But now I took that pressure off if they think they're fine or whatever, okay? Um, so it's a great way to pre-qualify something like that. So do you have anything to add? No, I just like it. When talking, like she said, is just set those appointments up. Okay. All right. So let's talk about, um, let's talk about the last one part. More. Yeah. The main. Uh, also, let me talk about this as well. I know Mr. Thomas is taking his time and he's, he's helping everybody learn how to just read the one through 10. And that's amazing because we can all agree. There's no other senior vice president that will do that or does that with people in their team because they just don't. And so the fact that he's doing that, you know, that's, that's amazing. Um, but here's another thing. If you don't feel confident enough, this is what I told one of the other team members that as far as presenting the business, I said, hey, get them on a Zoom, score, coordinate a time that works for you and the, uh, this pr prospect, right? Because they're cold market. What you want to do, because again, we're taking away the belly to belly uh, contact or, you know, um, connection that we don't normally have because with cold market, it's about trust, right? People do business with who they trust, right? So if you take that away, sometimes when you're just sending the video, sending the video, it's very difficult for them to trust you because you got to understand other people may be doing exactly the same thing, right? So how do we build that trust? So I told this, this IBO, I says, get them on a Zoom. You guys coordinate a time. And I said, form them, connect them, connect with them, find out about their family, found out, you know what I mean? Spend about five minutes just finding out all about them. What's their, what would be their why? Why would they do the business? And then I said, can you pull up a video of either the Tony Kupis or a video of me that I did the presentation, a pre-recorded, pull it up, play, and then guess what? You guys are watching it together. You didn't even present the business, right? And then after you're done, guess what? Then you can just say, what did you like about it, right? We all know how to close somebody. What did you like about it? Me too. That's awesome. Okay, and then you can always edify your the person you're working with and either do a three way call or let that person know they can jump on the zoom with you and then let them close them. How simple is that right. Duplicatable. Absolutely duplicatable, which is absolutely true. Okay, so that's something else you do. And then finally, the feet, the feet. which is the event. And obviously, this is the system. This is what ties everything together, right? Without your feet, you aren't moving anywhere. Without the events, you're not going to go anywhere. You're not going to go anywhere. It gives you the ability to take yourself out of the way, right? Everything you've been trying to teach these new people, the event is going to reiterate all that. They're going to solidify it for you because now they're going to like aha moments. Oh, well, that's what they've been trying to tell me. Oh, oh, no one. <laughs> that's must be what they're, why they keep saying that. Oh, okay. I get it. Okay. And it gives the belief to move people forward, which will give them the results, right? That's what they're looking for results. It, it's just going to make your job so much easier. And we already know that the stories are going to tell and they're going to sell. And that's what you hear at these events. You hear these testimonials, you hear these stories that puts, makes it so relatable to the people that are watching because they feel like, you know what, that's a normal person. That's an average person. There's nothing necessarily extraordinary about that person. They're just somebody just like me. And if they can do it, I think I can do it too. Okay. Is there anything you want to say? I have a story. Mm -hmm. I have a story. Yes. So oh, yeah. everybody on here, just quick raise of the hand. Yeah. No, Natasha. Okay, everybody knows Natasha. Miss Ishmael, boss lady. How many people would like to have Natasha on their team? I think everybody should be raising Okay, a <laughs> couple of people, couple of people, everybody. Okay, great. Here's what's interesting. Here's a story. This is from an event. We didn't get Natasha in this business. We didn't know who Natasha was or her husband. But we talked to our team and we kept reiterating how important this event was going to be. It was in San Jose, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. 
big event. San Jose, you got to go. You got to go. You got to go. So he's like, you know what? Okay, I'll go. I'm going to bring my sister. I'm like, cool. Two more on a team going. So he goes. We didn't speak at the event. We didn't talk. Somebody else did. We just showed him how to sit in the chairs and take notes. That's all we did. He came home from the event and put on three, Mm -hmm. like within days, like boom, 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 events at Denny's restaurant. Mm -hmm. And this young lady walked in with her her hubby, and they were kind of, and I I was doing the one through 10, and they were kind of talking and being rude, and I'm like, really? If it's not for you, just, I'll be done soon, and this is what I'm thinking in my head. Well, they were chuckling and talking back and forth because they had already got it. I had to keep going because of the rest of the people that was in the group there that didn't get it, had to have it explained to them. Afterwards, like, all right, where we signed? We get this. We're already in it. That's how you get a Natasha. You get your existing team to an international event, which is coming up here in about a week and a half, two weeks. Mm -hmm. You get somebody on that, and they're going to bring you the Natasha. In the story? No. And then not to mention, it was at an event that we decided we would not come back as a TC at the time. So basically to become a regional director, we made that decision. We planted our flag. And when we did come back to another event, we were, we've got promoted to that next position in the company. She's only partially right. She's only partially right. We didn't plant a tree. I literally walked out of the convention center in Charlotte. I took my, back then it was team coordinator before we got to RD. Yeah. I took my team coordinator pin, went over by the trees out back where they're picking everybody up in the buses. So we leaving, dug a hole. They're all looking at me like, what are you doing? Dug a hole with that pin, put the pin in there and I covered it up, stepped on it. I says, I'm not coming back here at TC. Yeah, I did. I did do that. And it was also- Planted my pin. Look what happened. It grew us to RD. And then it was at an event that when we walked stage at 100 points, that yeah. it was at that event that Evelyn, Mr. Thomas, the Carters, uh, who else? Uh, Natasha, Natasha, Hussein, uh, I don't know who else, but basically everyone decided at that event, the next event, they were coming and they were going to be walking stage at getting their 100 point promotion as well. And they all did. All held hands all going held up. All held hands, 100 walking pointers. stage at an event. But it was at an event. So do you understand the importance of what events can do for your business? We didn't talk about it either. We put our heads down and, and went for team. 100. It's not always about you. It's about other people. It really Look is. at the chain reaction it had. Our work, the chain reaction it had for others to create bigger success in their business. Simple. <laughs> this is yeah. simple work. Firefighting freaking was hard, crazy work. Yeah. I do this all day long. All right, guys, so I hope you got something. Complete body from head to toe, right? Head to toe, we gotta make this right. All right, guys, so with that being said, you guys have a blessed evening. Keep adding to your DMO. Keep adding, keep adding, keep adding, right? And let's hear some stories. Maybe next week we'll take some stories of people. Of I'd love to hear some positive stories of, of them doing the work and the results they're getting back. So with that being said, you guys have a great evening. Tomorrow morning.